in praise of Africa's Queen or Solidarity, Robert Mshengo Kavanagh, inspired by the poem In Praise of Africa's Children and she who wrote it, Mishere Givai Mogo. Aiwa, it's not about the hero queen who would not accept cruel pet Portugal's yoke. Not even Queen Njinga of the Amatamba. Not even her. Not even her. Aiwa, it's not about Ambuya Nehanda, who in the teeth of death spoke out, defied their noose and said, Tofira Nika. Not even her. Not even her. Aibo. It's not about Sobek Neferu or Hatshepsut, that foremost one. Even Cleopatra, whom age could not wither, not even them, not even them. Or journey through the ages to our time. The women rulers in our day, the one in Liberia or the other, Lady of the Lake. No, not them, not even them. Winners of that subversive prize in Norway, though pride we feel at their achievements, the one who stopped the war and the other of the trees in Kenya. Or Wena, Wena Wagnene, Nkosazana Lamini, who warmed the throne of countless backsides, men, all men to a man, in Africa's place of kings. No. Not even them, not even them. Their history is recorded. Our children learn their names. But what of those no page can honour, no book can count them, no words come near, whose deeds subside while others rise above them and stoop to take up the ancient spear? Generations unsung, but sung without them, the song would simply disappear. Women who bore the twofold yoke, the yoke of womanhood, the yoke of bondage. They bore the fist, the lash, the jackboot, chopped down by axes, hacked by hoes. My way, they cry, and soldiered on. Stood firm and would not buckle. Fed and schooled their children on their toil, ploughed the meagre clods the invader left them, gave their lives to free their country, then sold Maguinya, sold Maputi, Madromasi, Nemaonyanis, sewed and mended, stitched, stitched up doilies, crisscrossed borders far and near, on foot, by bus, Kananlege, to buy and sell, to sell and buy, and to survive. Not these, not even these, not these we honour, but another, who scaled the heights in her native Kenya, came to newly free Zimbabwe, then on again to greater feats, the belly of the beast, and even there, when soon confronted by another ruthless system, was not to be stopped, not to be stopped but brave and single-handed, urged on by many friends, the friends everywhere she gathered. She fought her terrible battles, ringing in her ear, the spirit of no surrender, Madiba's lion's roar. A queen to us, a queen of struggle, a queen of thought, a courageous queen. Solidarity has been the mantra, the mantra of her life. Gave and given, she was constant. Some like her marched with her, marched in many causes. Mozambique, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mozambique, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nicaragua, oh yeah. Cuba, oh yeah. Palestine, oh yeah. Amanda. And then <clears throat> that highest cause of all, whose flag is deepest red. 
Arise, ye prisoners of starvation, arise, ye wretched of the earth, for justice thunders condemnation, a better world's in birth. So, comrades, come rally, and the last fight let us face. The international unites the human race. With her, with us, the others marched, but some so hot. They slunk away when circumstances changed and their tempers cooled. Not she, not she, our queen. She was ever there. She never faltered. And so we say, as she once taught us, and so we sing as we sang together. Ah, Leoni Shangwe. Ah, Leoni Shangwe. Karibu, 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 muzalendo Africa. Karibu, 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 muzalendo Africa. Our queen, our comrade, Michele.